Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. It's an interesting thing about time is sometimes it feels like time is flying by and sometimes it feels like time is standing still, but it's not so much the tick and the talk. It's that little dash in the middle that matters the most. You see, it's not the second before the one you're in or the second after. It's not the tick or the talk. It's, it's the present. It's this very moment. And yet so often we try to split the seconds. We try to think about the past or maybe dwell in the past and the way things were and the way we hope we could get back to and the way they used to be or maybe even the guilt and the shame of what we may have done or the, the pain and the hurt of what's been done to us. We can, we can try to stay there, but that's not really where we are. Or we get really obsessed with the future. What's next and, and what's going to happen and where are we going to go and, and maybe then it'll be okay or maybe even in that space we become overwhelmed and think it's more than I can bear or it's really not worth it. It's that little space, the, the split in between the seconds. That's, that's where faith and action really come together. That's where this relationship with Jesus is really expressed in, in beauty and in majesty. That's where the miracles of life happen and also the messiness of living. It's in those split seconds, that little space in between. See, that's the space that we're in. And I will tell you that this space right now, it's, it's the best the world has ever been. I, I know it, it, it can feel hopeless and, and there's so much to be concerned about and upset about and anxious about and worried about, but, but God is moving and, and he's alive and he's active and, and he's right here. He's with us in this present. He is present. And because he is present, he empowers us to live in this moment in a way where our faith is being expressed. You see in the book of James, it says, faith without works is dead. That if you claim to have faith, but there's no action associated with it, then you're really just missing out on life, the abundant life that Jesus has for us. This space in between, these split seconds right here. And so how do you do that? How do you live that out? I know for me that I look at that and I go, well, that, that's impossible because there is so much before and there's so much ahead and it's overwhelming and I don't know what to do. And so each and every day I, I begin my day in prayer and, and I just, I sit down with God and I say, okay, God, here I am. What do you want to do? God, let me see people through your eyes. God, please break my heart with what breaks your heart. God, please let me love like you love the love that you have. And then I read scripture and I listen to him and I pause. And before I have any human interactions or before I look at social media or the news, I'm grounded in him because he is the present. He is the space in between. He is where this faith in him and who he is and what he's done and what he's promised to do. It then it consumes me and, and his presence is enough and he is what flows out of me. And he calls us to action. And so as we seek God and we put him first and we rely on his lordship, it's not what was and it's not even what will be. Focus right here. The split seconds, the space in between, the time that he's given you and trust him in that. And let your faith in him then be expressed through you in actions that glorify God and share his love in very tangible and real ways with the world around us. And God will be glorified through that. And your life will explode with meaning and passion and great confidence. Not in yourself. Not even in the world around you. But in Him. And that's a life worth living.